right, you guys, we got some more info you need to know. Life insurance, let's talk about it. It's a critical part of your overall financial security. And it's also an important part of your employer's benefits package. Security and Financial Regional Vice President Amy Hennessy joins us with what we need to know about buying life insurance at work. Good morning. Good morning. As we just said, this is a really important topic. So why are people buying it at their, in, at their jobs? Yeah, it's a really good question. And in fact, today, more Americans are buying insurance through their employer, through work, than in getting individual insurance. Securing Financial is one of the largest riders of group life insurance through an employer. And okay. so we know, based on our experience, that the primary reason is ease of access. Mm -hmm. So you can enroll through your employer's benefit system for life insurance. You can pay for it through payroll deduction, meaning you don't have to remember to write a check every month. It yes. just automatically happens. And then typically there's some amount of coverage that's provided without any um, medical questions being asked. So you can't be denied or declined coverage for some amount uh, because of a health concern. Okay. And there's also that component of peace of mind. If your employer has vetted and selected an insurance company, you don't have to do that. Okay, so are you saying that if we are presented this option when we're starting a new job, that this is something we should opt into? Yes, definitely. I would look to see what's available in your employer's benefit package as it relates to life insurance. Okay. Now, what about getting both? Should we be doing insurance with our employees as well as outside insurance? Do we need, like, how much coverage should you get? Sure. It depends. Everybody's situation is different, so it really depends. I would encourage everyone to look at their employer's benefit package to see what's available and then evaluate how much life insurance you need, just like you would your health care insurance. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what kinds of coverage should we get? Mm -hmm. There's a couple different kinds of coverage generally there's term insurance and then there's permanent life insurance term insurance is typically what's offered through your employers benefit package it typically is less expensive and a little simpler coverage um, and so uh, you can enroll through the benefits uh, system and then have that payroll deduction begin the other option is if you feel like you need more because of your financial obligations you might want to consider buying individual insurance through a financial professional okay you could tell I don't have kids yet because <laughs> I immediately was like well how much am I worth <laughs> to my mom am I worth a hundred thousand or five hundred thousand so is that not really what you base it off of <laughs> well that's a good question and, and it's always uh, people are a little overwhelmed. How much life insurance yeah. do I need? Obviously, when you have children, that's a whole different conversation. Absolutely. When I had children, that was something that we looked at right away, too. But there are many life events that might suggest that you should evaluate your life insurance when you get married, perhaps when you buy a house, when you have children, and then even nearing retirement, your life insurance needs would change. So you want to adjust based on what's going on in your life. So we have to talk about cost because mm -hmm. obviously I want my mom to have as much money as she can get, but obviously it has to be something that I afford too. The more money that she would get in the right. end would be uh, more money for me to pay up front. Right. So if you're buying insurance through your employer, the cost will be defined through that plan. So that's one of the factors, of course, that will help you determine how much life insurance you need, both your financial protection needs, but also what is it going to cost. If you're buying individual insurance, uh, the cost will be based on your individual situation, your gender, your health, okay. your age, your even your occupation will come into play. So it sounds like you're saying that you shouldn't just max out just because you think it would be the most money in the end. Yeah, it, should, it should be based off of your specific needs. You really want to look at what your protection needs are. And there are life insurance calculators that really help simplify it for okay. you. We have one on our website at securian.com where you can go in and just enter some basic information and it will recommend a, a level of life insurance. And then you can look to where should I get that through my employer or do I need to supplement that with individual insurance as well. Okay, well, thank you so yeah. much. Uh, certainly you. an important topic, sometimes a tough, confusing topic. So thank That's you for breaking right. it down yes. for us. For more information on life insurance or how to enroll with Securian, just head to securian.com.